Hi, I'm Katie. Welcome to the desert that I spent most of my childhood in. I'm going to be starting with a side parting for our hairstyles today. And this is so easy, you can do it without any tools, just like I'm doing it right here. On the smaller side, we're going to start Dutch braiding. And a Dutch braid is when we're folding under and gathering up the piece on each side as we go. To make this as much of a faux undercut as we can, keep your stitches smaller and tighter. Now I'm going to keep going until I get all the way to the back of all the hair that I have parted out. Right about there is where you want to switch your hands and that way the braid stays closer down to your neck and you have less flyaways. Now I am going to use a hairband for right here just to show you how to do that. And I'm going to be really, really tugging on each length of the braid here to make these like huge petals. And the effect is quite stunning. It looks like you've got a ton of hair when you do this. Now I do want to hide that band, so I'm going to be using a hair accessory and you can use an accessory of your choice, or you can also wrap hair around the band if you would prefer to do that as well. And now the front here is where I'm going to show you how to braid and have the braid stay in even if you have no hair accessories whatsoever. No pins, no hair elastics, nothing. So I'm going to be starting in the middle, separating into three, and again I'm going to be Dutch braiding. And you notice how I'm not sliding my fingers all the way down each strand to untangle it? I'm letting them stay a little bit sticky together. I'm just going to continue on braiding and you can see kind of a knot forming there at the end. That is going to help us secure the braid when we're ready to let go. I want to use most of the hair on the top here, just like that, and then go down a little bit more. Try to pull your hair back a little bit so that it's not resting on your ear. When you run out of space to keep on braiding, now's when you want to take the tail end and just loop it through. An extra little step to hold it in place. Now that is not budging. I wore that all day, not going anywhere. Again, we're going to mirror what we did in the back and pull out each petal as much as we can, really flaring it out. This looks so beautiful. It's definitely a statement hairstyle, and it was just two simple braids. Another thing I like about this technique of not having a hairband in front is there's no hairband to see. So it looks very seamless and like it's just been meant to be part of your hair the entire time. If you love this hairstyle, please do give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.